Well, I'm here with Batman himself in front of the Batmobile. This is one of the original touring Batmobiles, correct? Yes, it tours with all the celebrities, does shows across the country, parades, car shows, and the talk shows, things like that. Adam West has been in it, Evil Knievel's been in it. Robbie Knievel jumped over it at one of his uh, shows, so it's done a lot of work. Now, I bet a lot of people come and see this and it really brings back a lot of memories from their childhood, and you get to kind of help them experience that. What is that like? Oh, it's amazing. I've been doing this 28 years, and I've had adults cry tears of joy because they were so happy to see this car because they've wanted to see it since they were a boy. I've had little kids cry just because they were happy. I mean, I've had every age from two-year-old kids all the way up to 90-year-old women come in here and want to sit in the car. And I'm shocked that the kids know what it is because, you know, Batman doesn't play on TV anymore, but they know what it is. And it's actually in the record books, is the most famous car in the world. So you could park this car on the moon and you'd have a crowd around it in five minutes. And I'm not kidding. <laughs> I am sitting in the Batmobile. This is awesome. <laughs> Holy crap. It's got all the stuff. Look, it's got the, it's got the, the bat smoke stuff and everything. Original 60s fire extinguisher. 60s fire extinguisher. Don't get in a fire in this car because I have a feeling the uh, bat fire extinguisher is not going to work. It's fire out the back. Every gadget works. Every button does something. It took me four years to restore it back to the way it looked on the TV show. It's completely screen accurate. Atomic batteries to power. Turbines to speed. Roger. Ready to move out. The Geek Report is next. You got that right. <laughs>